Hey there, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Wendy Irene. Today we're doing a reading for Libra. So if you have Libra in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or North Node, or if there's a Libra in your life that you're hoping to get a greater understanding of what's going on with them, I do highly recommend that you watch some of your other signs, depending on which ones like your intuition is telling you, because for me, I feel like you get a bigger full picture. And actually astrology didn't even really totally make sense to me until I combined those energies. Okay, so just a heads up, I have both my cats here with me right now. One is really calm and just sitting nicely in the window. The other one's a little more crazy and he may pop in front of the camera at any moment or start trying to get the cards. So just wanted to give you a warning. Okay. I just ask that you go into these readings with an open heart space and being willing to listen to your own intuition above everything else because that's your greatest guide and teacher. Let's do one more shuffle, Libra. I love doing Libra readings. My brother is a Libra. Okay. What are the highest messages for Libra? Okay, so at the bottom of the deck today, we have the healer of thought or um, swords or air energy, like think queen of swords. So queen of swords, cutting out all the BS of your life, anything that doesn't serve you anymore, getting rid of all the crap in your house or around you or at work, all the junk, clearing it all up. Queen of swords is very independent, get stuff done. Um, one of the really cool things about this energy is it has a great sense of humor too. So laugh as much as you can laugh about things. Right now, currently, my backyard is full of just crap everywhere because we had a shed that was here when we bought the house and it was falling apart. So we took the shed down. Now all the stuff that was in the shed is just sitting in the backyard. So anyway, I am trying to have a sense of humor about it, but it's hard like an out at all that stuff. So like, I know I got to get that cleaned up. Um, what is in your life that you could get cleaned up that, that just makes your space feel better. Also your life. So it could come to certain relationships, certain relationships, you know, you might just not be working for you. You're like every single day, this is bringing me down. This is bringing drama in what relationships really, really lift me up and make me happy. What are other messages for our Libra friends today? We have embraced those around you. I feel like this is a time of really big spiritual growth. It's really important to surround yourself with people that, like I was just saying with the Queen of Swords, that share your beliefs, that lift you up, who really truly love you for who you are. And uh, this can be a card to remind you to really be willing to accept help from others. So like I could definitely use some help with getting my backyard cleared up. Um, sorry, one second, winter, get off the plants. This is the little black fur of my cat autumn that you just saw for a second so that's her and winter is stepping on my succulent plants which I don't really want him to do it's not the best way to walk over here okay sorry about that I might have to shut them out next time they really wanted to be in here okay so it's also traditional it's also traditional energy and for some reason I'm really feeling like you might want to do some like traditional methods and I'm making sourdough starter. Maybe there's traditional things that you can do that really are gonna uplift your life, okay? But it's about surrounding yourself with the right people, the right things, and your thoughts too, the right thoughts. What are the ones that you wanna hold on to? What are the thoughts that you just wanna let pass by that aren't serving you? Okay. What other messages do we have for Libra today? The nine of emotions or the nine of cups. I love this. This is beautiful, magical energy. This is really feeling fulfilled. This is when your dreams are being granted and really coming true for you. 
it's like really happy times. It's a reward. It just think about it as like a reward for being the loving person that you are, the wonderful person that you are. So your guides are asking you to have more fun, um, to really enjoy your life here. Smile lots, enjoy your life. You are such a wonderful loving person. So these magical things are gonna be happening for you because your energy, that's where your energy is at, Libra. The two of thought or the two of swords. So this is comes up sometimes when we feel like we're not moving forward. Like for example, say like you know you have this thing you need to do. Say you know you have to, um, there's stuff they need to get rid of or people they need to get rid of, but you just haven't felt motivated to do it or you just haven't done it yet but you know this card is like saying hey move forward <laughs> so take this as a message to like get that done um and ask for signs ask for direction ask for help deep down it's like deep down libra you know what to do you know what these things are or these people are and you know what to do so it's uh asking you to move forward with that so that you don't feel stuck so you don't feel stalled sometimes you just kind of got to make yourself do it and then that really changes the energy it gets things going and it really brings you back to that joy and love and enjoying life that um the universe wants for you okay so the last two cards that came out are the guardian of action and intuition and insight so i do really feel like you're going to be getting these intuitive messages like with the two of swords, where we're, what I'm saying, um, listen for those signs, ask for those signs. The guardian of action, <clears throat> this is fire energy. This is stepping up and being a leader. This is you being called to action, but it's really about you shining brightly. Virgo also had a similar message. So if you have Virgo in your chart, I would highly recommend that you that you watch that. Let's just try holding for a minute. Maybe you won't get into so much trouble. Okay, so this is about you stepping up and really being the natural leader that you are, shining brightly, being in your, like being in the spotlight here. It's the letting your charisma really come through, letting you're inspiring others. I feel like this, you're in the spotlight for a reason here, Libra. And you're gonna follow your own insights over the advice of others with this insight and intuition card. So you're gonna listen to what you know is right for you, what your intuition is telling you over what other people are saying with this card. So some things that might be best to keep to yourself right now, like who, you don't, it's like protecting a seat. Not everybody's energy needs to be involved in whatever it is, whatever direction or whatever it is that you're thinking about that's right for you. Maybe it's not the same as the advice for others, but maybe you don't need to let that energy in for right now. Maybe you can keep it as a protected seed, like something that you're manifesting. But your intuition is very accurate, and that's why that card is here. So go with your gut. You don't have to explain or tell it to everybody right now. You can protect what you're manifesting or what you're working on creating. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for all you do to support this channel. The likes, the shares, the comments, they mean so much to me. Please subscribe and I will see you again soon. Sending you all my love and light.